All right, everybody, we got batch 38, batch 38 test results in, and I've, I've had these knives done for months, but I didn't want to go on air with it until the smoke cleared on the Asher knife deal. So, um, and this is why we test, and this is a good thing. So cautionary tale, you know, uh, and we'll get into that. But we've got three different Asher knives. I'm going to report on four Asher knives. Uh, the Nomad, which is what this is. There's a Nomad 2 that's in gray, and it's not here because I shipped it off to my buddy in Sweden. So we're going to pretend it's here. Otherwise, this is very simple. But the interesting thing is the story about Asher, which... I'm sure Justin will be so happy when the final chapter clears on this whole thing and he can go back to being a human being again and forget all the bad dreams that came with this. And then the, the CJRB Mylea, which has got the ARRPM9, their proprietary steel. And so, of course, we wanted to take a shoot the gun at that. What is it? Give up your secrets. And so we did. Of course, they revealed their elemental uh, before we ever had a shot at it because probably Russell told him, hey, you know he's going to do this. And, you know, there's no secrets there. It's basically a very enhanced crucible powder metallurgy of 9CR18. Okay, let's start off with the Asher Nomad. Um, <clears throat> there's an Asher Nomad 2 that is supposed to be on this table, but it's not. It's gone to Sweden already. That's how long it's, these knives have been sitting around here, and I, I totally forgot it was part of this group. That was one that's in gray, okay? That's part of the new production. I had a, a viewer who sent me an email and said, hey, Asher Knives has got, they're out. Do you know anything about them? And they're a great bargain. And a bunch of other reviewers are talking about them because they're S35VN and they're like 75 bucks. What a great deal, right? Axis lock and or liner lock or frame lock. And uh, they got S35VN blades. So have you tested one? Or would you be interested in doing so? And I said, yeah, I mean, that sounds great. And I looked around and a bunch of other reviewers are talking about them, saying what a great value and all that. And so I uh, went to my pass around group. I went to Blade Banner and said, have you guys had this passed around? And he goes, yeah, and I think Jared and Neves Knives has it, has one. And so I contacted Jared and he said, yes, I got one. Uh, if you want to test it, that's fine. I'll send it to you. So he sent it to me. I sent it in and had it tested. Okay. So this was like last November, 2020, you know, your favorite year. And uh, so it got tested. And so if it's vanadium, it would be like, the vanadium would be like 3.4, 3.5, whatever, if it's S35VN. So obviously, bingo, right off the bat, no, it's not. And he goes, yeah, 440C. Okay, this is the metallurgy guy that does the testing for me. So it's nice to have a metallurgy guy with a gun that can do the testing. How good is that? It is so awesome. I can't believe it. But uh, and, you know, things ain't going to last forever, so we're going to do what we can when we can. No, it's not. So I got that test result back, and I my jaw dropped. Uh, because I had emailed back and forth with Justin before. I just never got one of his knives because I said, yeah, I'd like to. And then something fell through, and we, we never connected. So I talked to Jared, though, at Neve's Knives, and I said, dude, uh, that doesn't test this S35VN. And he goes, whoa. I sent him a picture of the scan, and he says, what are you going to do? And I said, well, it's obvious. I'm going to send the results to Justin. So I did. I sent the results to Justin. And... Uh, Oh, here's the frame lock, by the way. I'm just playing with knives while I'm telling you the story. But yes, and so Justin went to the manufacturer. Of course, they're manufactured in China. They're OEM for him. And 
he gave them the results and a copy of the scan. And at first, of course, they said our equipment's faulty and it's impossible. And then he says, well, then you send me a scan. And I guess they rustled up some test machine somewhere and whoops, we were right. I mean, how, how far off can your PMI gun be? Uh, it's calibrated and it's being used in an industrial background that, that deals with very sensitive stuff. So you know ours is going to be correct and properly calibrated. And then came the finger pointing. And there was a lot of that. So everybody, finally, they picked out one employee of the steel distributor and blamed it all on him. So I would have fired the manufacturer for sure. But, uh, oh, well, that's not my decision. They did make new blades for him. So anybody who bought a knife here back in, oh, crap, I guess probably 2019 up through October, or even into November, probably has a 440 blade and you need to get a hold of of Justin and he's got new blades so you can just pop it off and replace it put a new one in although if it's you know these these locks you might want to send it to him to replace because you know these omega springs and completely disassembling isn't that simple it's not just pop off pop on okay these would be easier, the frame lock and the liner lock, okay? And this is the Spiro. So, after Justin got physically ill over the whole thing, he was just like, I cannot believe it. He was blindsided. So, all that's been done, all the new blades, all the, the future models now are correct. They're S35VN, but... No, that's not S35VN. So let's talk about the next one. And so I sent this one, this one, the frame lock, okay, uh, and the Spiro, and then the Nomad, which basically this is a Nomad frame lock, but I had the Nomad 2 in gray, which is not here, of course, uh, all three tested. And... I only got one scan picture back because he said they all scanned the exact same. So he just sent me one. So here's the Spiro laying here. Okay. And uh, C3.68 vanadium. Bingo. Chromium 14%. And as you can compare, you go 0 0.084. <laughs> Wrong. That's 440 all way low in vanadium, right? And the chromium up to 16% because that's where 440 lays. Yeah, so this is correct, okay? Now they are correct. So we're good. I mean, and story closed. Uh, Justin has recovered. Hopefully he's not having nightmares anymore. Uh, but this is the last I'm going to speak on this. Other than to tell you, how about the flashback? And this is 14 c 28 or 20, 14 C, 12 C, 27. Oh my God, I'm losing it. But I mean, this thing was like 30 something dollars, $39. And then of course, I had to get the Sentry, which is S35VN, but check the harpoonish look on the blade and everything. So I'll be talking about these coming up. But yes, they're very affordable. And the steel is correct. You can have confidence in that because we checked. So manufacturer being good people now, you know. And they just thought that the distributor wouldn't uh, lie to them. And apparently there's an intermediary, supposedly, that was the problem. I'd have fired the bunch. But, uh, okay, let's go to the next one. And the next one is interesting because it's the CJRB Mylea. And of course, I like this natural G10 stuff. And Swags, I don't know if you've seen her Instagram, but she's done a lot of different designs already. And uh, oh, she's pretty good looking too. And this is the AR RPM9 steel. So this is their proprietary steel. Let me see if we can knock a few more. Now, you know what? I'm going to just lay this on the table there. Okay, so if you want to know what what 
AR RPM9 looks like under a PMI scanner, here you go. So you got 0.16 of vanadium, so it's not a high vanadium content. Chromium 17%, 17 point almost 2. It should be closer to 18, so it looks a little low on the chromium. Because if you know what 9CR18, CR18 would be would be 18% chromium, and so it's not quite 18%. Okay, so there you go, and your iron and your molly, etc. So uh, <clears throat> he goes, uh, yes, it is, according to uh, the formula that we have from, uh, from CJRB on this proprietary steel. He says, uh, you know, the chromium looks a little low, but meets basic standards because you know there's there's deviations that are allowed so there's that and uh this is the official composition of course 9 cr 18.9 percent carbon cr 18 okay so uh this is the molly manganese vanadium cobalt silicon of course this is uh also powder metallurgy so you've got a good distrib distribution of these elements and everything throughout the steel so i think it should be a good user steel i've heard good things about it uh and no i don't have a rockwell okay i don't even know where the rockwell's supposed to be on that but i guess i can look it up and just assume it should be about the same as 9 cr 18 Next is this crazy thing keeps falling off this pouch because this pouch is like, you know, Mount Olympus and how you're not skiing down the side. So get out of here. So this is the Tiger. And so this is the, this knife that was made by this guy. And you can take a look at my review on this knife. It's the Zero. Okay. The Tiger Zero. It's a, it's an integral knife titanium supposedly m390 and i thought well uh this we got to test this right i mean this is like a newbie on the block and who knows anything about it what the hell so i send it in and yes it is m390 check it out you got see m390 is running around 19 20 percent chromium and then there you go, over 4% vanadium, etc. So, absolutely, it's the real deal, Holyfield. Now we got the Sencut Sidious, which is right here. And Sencut all being the ultra, ultra budget brand of Wii knives and even more budget friendly than Civivi. So, this, although, you know, a lot of the Civivi knives are made in 9CR18 and or d2 and now some in bowler n690 so this is the sidious is it really uh 9cr18 and yes it is and there's your 18 percent chromium so this is 9cr now you're going well how come i don't see the carbon here well you don't see the carbon because a pmi gun does not pick up the light elements like that so it's not going to test for carbon uh, you can do another machine that will actually give you carbon content but it's a different it's a different machine that actually takes or vaporizes some of the steel on the knife and this is just nothing it never does anything to the blade it's just an x-ray thing so but if if you're going to vaporize a chunk then yes it'll give you a carbon i can't remember if that's oes or what that is but here we go yes according to our metallurgy guy this is 9cr and would you expect anything else from we knives no of course not then of course we have uh the Sencut Actium, and this is the Actium right here. And this one they did in D2, and they really make it tiny wherever they put it on here. Wow, really uh, difficult to see. This one was a this one's a pain, but you can kind you can see it right there. 
but it's in really tiny letters. And is it D2? Well, yeah, there you go. D2 is a 12% chromium. Uh, and then the vanadium is not, not bad, actually, at, at almost a 0.8. So, looks good. Yeah, it is. It's definitely D2. And let me see. Last but not least. Oh, this is a for information only, by the way. And this is the last one. But no, I, he didn't send me this knife. This is his knife. And so, he just said, hey, if you're interested in what's in the Damascus of a QSP knife. He has a QSP knife with Damascus. He likes really well. And so there you go. Uh, here's the, the elemental composition. And so go look at your charts and you decide what it is. But that's what it is. And you know what? You can always contact, uh, I believe, Blade Banner because he's worked closely with QSP. And you can uh, ask him specifically. I kept thinking at one time he told me what, what the steel was that was used and now I've forgotten because it was months and months ago. So there you go. And that's it for batch, uh, for our lovely batch, uh, 38. Okay. So we'll have 39 coming up, 40 coming up and I'm putting together 41 to go in and get tested. So we'll run over some other knives that we've tested before and see what's going on there. It ought to be interesting. Thank you so much for hanging out. And uh, you know what we do. We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.